What's going on everybody? How about you? Truck and Rob coming at you here. Got a cool little video. I want to take a page out of uh, Mr. Woody Woods uh, video library here and uh, kind of break down a repair bill for you guys. Um, Woody's been doing this for a while and uh, not copying him or anything like that. Um, we've talked about it <clears throat> and uh, it's just good information. So the more information that we can put out there, it uh, doesn't matter who does it. Man, that's loud. Uh, doesn't matter who does it. Uh, most of the YouTubers, we like putting information out there to help you guys. All right. So that's what this is about. Uh, I'm going to break down a repair bill or, uh, well, not necessarily a repair bill, but it's a maintenance bill. All right. Uh, put the truck in the shop here in uh, Lincoln, Alabama. Had a uh, oil change done, PM service, uh, DOT inspection on the truck and the trailer, and uh, put some new shocks all around. Okay, so I'm going to kind of break it down. I've got the bill here, and I'll break it down. And this is for you guys that are uh, in a lease truck or owner ops th or thinking about getting into it. That's really what this is about, is to what to expect. Um, in the repair shop some of the bills that are associated with this next level of trucking all right that's what this is about the next level um, it's it costs money it costs money it takes money to make money right so that's what this is about all right so uh, we'll start with the shocks uh, put all new shocks on the drives and the steers and the uh, and the cab shocks back in the back of the sleeper there uh, the shocks were uh, $92 a piece uh, for the suspension shocks and the cab shocks were $42 a piece okay um, it was uh, an hour and a half of labor for all of them and that gave me a grand total for all my shocks was $686.79 okay so you guys that are needing shocks Put on your truck starting to ride a little bit rough real shaky it's time to put some shocks on there now uh, I generally change my shocks out once a year uh, usually right before winter is a good idea to change your shocks so you've got uh, got good suspension through winter ice and snow and all that stuff you want to keep the wheels on the ground so there's the interval on that usually about once a year uh, shocks are really only good uh, anywhere from 70 to 100,000 miles. Uh, after that, there's just there's no shock absorption left in it. Um, so about once a year, swap those out, and uh, just as a ballpark estimate, it's going to cost you right around $700, $686.79 to put all new shocks on your truck. Now uh, those are just the Monroe. Uh, replacement shocks there weren't anything fancy um, I'd love to put Road Kings on there but uh, it's a little bit too rich for my blood at the moment but uh, maybe one of these years all right uh, so that's the shocks about 700 bucks okay uh, the next thing was uh, preventive maintenance the PM I uh, got the ultimate package where they go through and and uh, check absolutely everything your rear ends transmission the whole deal um, the total on that I, I upgraded to the uh, to the mobile Delvac Elite the 1030 the semi synthetic and that was a $50 upcharge for that uh, grand total was uh, 307 14 307 dollars and 14 cents okay just on the oil stuff all right now I had all my fuel filters changed uh, DD 15 has three three fuel filters okay so the charge a little there's a little bit extra charge for the for the uh, Detroit DD 15 uh, it was $75 total uh, one filter was uh, 35 and then the other two were 20 bucks a pop okay and then on mine I've also got the Davco uh, filter so that's the extra one that's the uh, shoot that one was only 20 bucks for the Davco filter it's uh like a kind of water separator all right it's just another filter that's in line um, so 
let's see, it was 307.14 for the oil change, uh, 75 bucks for the additional uh, fuel filters for the DD15. Your truck might have, might be different, okay? But for the DD15 with the Davco filter, you're looking at about 75 bucks. So all in all, the oil change and the fuel filters was uh, right around 380 bucks. We'll call it 400 bucks. So 400 bucks uh, to do a PM service on a DD15. All right, with uh, semi-synthetic upgrade on the oil. All right. I uh, had a DOT inspection on the truck uh, here at Blair. Uh, they want us to get a DOT inspection every 90 days. Okay, and that's a good reason for that. Um, the way they work it is we pay the uh, first one, we pay for the annual, and then they pay for every one that's needed after that. So it's not a bad deal. Um, it doesn't cost me anything extra, but I got to pay for the first one, and this one is the first one of the year. So $58.99. $58.99, 60 bucks to get the DOT inspection. Uh, I got a all green, passed with flying colors and uh, no problems found, but I take care of my truck. So um, usually, I, also I had a cab filter, the uh, air filter that goes through the air conditioner that, that filters all the air conditioner, all the, the air in here, right? Boy, that thing was nasty, really nasty, man. Uh, 30 bucks for that filter. I could have got it cheaper and done it myself. They didn't charge me any labor for it, so uh, you know, I was talking with the guys and, and uh, we were talking back and forth and they were cool. So um, I told them, hey, look, I can change it out myself. I usually do. And they're like, ah, don't worry about it. We got plenty of them in here. You know, he's like, it doesn't take that long. We'll swap it out for you. Right on. Be cool. Don't have an attitude. And you'd be surprised uh, what you can get done in these shops if you go in there and you're cool and don't have an attitude. All right. So just they, they charged me for the air filter and that was it. All right. Um, yeah, I could get it cheaper someplace else um, and do it myself. But I was here, right here, right now. Um, it was nasty. It needed to be changed desperately. So I'm cool with 30 bucks right here, right now. It's done. All right. And then uh, that was it. That was it. So 700 bucks for shocks, 307 for the oil change, uh, 60 bucks for the inspection, 30 bucks for the cab filter. Uh, 75 bucks for the additional fuel filters uh, $71.78 in tax got to pay taxes so we came to a grand total of 1229 right there $1229 that's all out of my pocket you know um, that's money. That's 12, 1200 bucks. Call it 1300 bucks. Boom. Gone. It's gone. Now that's nothing. That's just maintenance, you know. Uh, if you watch some of Woody's breakdown videos, some of them have gotten pretty scary. Pretty scary and hairy stuff. Now you get a, a tow truck involved and all that sort of stuff, you're, you're dropping some serious cash. Um, the other paper here, uh, just I did a DOT uh, inspection on the trailer and a grease job. Uh, the company flips the bill on that. But for you guys that are having your own trailer or thinking about getting your own trailer, uh, it's $60.60. and Okay, $60.60 and right there for a DOT and a grease job on the trailer. So there you go, there you have it. There's the breakdown on uh, my little maintenance in the shop. Got a lot of stuff done, got some things checked off the fix it list. The truck is good to go. Still got a few other things to uh, take care of, but these were the important things for now. So that's it. I just wanted to share that with you guys. Again, um, just putting the information out there to help the guys coming through. If you're thinking about getting into a lease truck, owner op situation, this next level of trucking to where you're flipping the bill. Okay, this is what it's going to cost you to keep running. All right, and this is nothing. This is just maintenance. So, all right, guys, glad I could share. Hope that helped out a little bit. And uh, remember to be safe out here. Be the professional, set the example, and uh, if you're not part of the Cupcake Gang on Facebook, go ahead and check that out there. Look up the official Cupcake Gang 
I'll drop a link in the uh, comment sections below. And uh, we're going to be doing some big things there. It's a great group. Ask questions. A lot of truckers in there. And uh, feel free to join, ask, learn, and uh, be a part of the community. All right, guys. That's all I got for you. I'll talk to you later.